Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about gram staining. In this video we include why gram staining is done, principle and procedure of gram staining, result with some examples. Moving forward, gram staining is one of the most frequent and important staining done in microbiology lab. It was first developed by Christian Graham in 1884. Later, it was modified by Hawker in 1921. We do gram staining to differentiate between gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. Principle It is very important to understand the principle of gram staining. Here, gram positivity is due to the presence of thick multilayer peptidoglycan and tichoic acid on the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria only, whereas the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria are made up of lipoprotein and lipopolysaccharides. When the bacteria are treated with crystal violet followed by modern iodine, diiodine complexes form. When the slide is then treated with acetone or alcohol, the diiodine complex diffuses freely out from gram-negative bacteria cell wall forming pores on it, whereas the gram-positive bacteria retain crystal violet iodine stain and appear violet in color, and gram-negative lose their primary stain and take saffronin the counter stain and appear red in color. We hasn't used. There are basically four steps in gram staining. The stain we use for primary staining is crystal violet or methyl violet or Jensen violet. Mostly we use crystal violet. Preparation. 2 grams of crystal violet, 20 ml of 95% alcohol, 0.8 gram of ammonium oxalate, 100 ml of distilled water. Modern here used is grams iodine. Preparation of grams iodine 2 grams of potassium iodine, 1 gram of iodine crystal, 100 ml of distilled water. Decolorizer by organic solvent like ethanol, acetone or aniline. Then counter stain is by using saffronin or carbophosphine or neutral grade. Mostly saffronin is used. So preparation, four grams of saffronin, 200 ml of ethanol, 95%, then 800 ml of distilled water. Seeing the procedure, First, we are supposed to prepare and heat fix the smear. Then the smear is covered with crystal violet for one minute. Then rinse off with water. Then again, the smear is covered with gram iodine for one minute. Rinse with tap water. Then run acid alcohol decolorizer for five to 10 seconds or till when the purple color of primary stain is gone. Wash thoroughly. Then cover with saffronin for one minute. Rinse and blood dry. Observed on the oil immersion lens. The result we can see is as gram positive appear, violet in color and gram negative occur pink in color. Mostly gram positive are the cocci and gram negative are the bacilli. Now some examples for gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria are first we look to the gram positive bacteria Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pyogenes, Micrococcus, Clostridium perfringens, Intercoccus species, Actinomycetes.
then gram negative bacteria include E. coli, Klebsiella, Salmonella, Neisseria species, Proteus species, and Haemophilus influenza species. Thank you. That's all for gram staining. Please like and subscribe the channel.